Of course, here at IFA, as always, every year, we're witnessing the near future uh, a bit more into tomorrow, if you will. Our next guest studies what comes after that, especially in the world of displays. He is the senior marketing consultant for GFK Retail and Technology, Alexander Demel. Alexander, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing very well. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, but I am not going to attempt again to pronounce GFK, what it stands for. I'm going to ask you to tell our audience what that stands for, and there'll be a test later, so pay attention, everyone. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a German company, so it stands for Gesellschaft für Konsumforschung, which basically means... That's absolutely correct. Okay. ...company for consumer research. Um, but we also say growth from knowledge, because uh -huh. this is what we are. We are a knowledge provider for the world and the industry. There we go. So we can think of GFK as, as you mentioned, growth from knowledge. Yes. And that's really what it's all about. And, and of course, we're talking about things that are available today and into tomorrow. But you're able to share with us what's happening in, in this industry globally uh, in terms of display technology and that sort of thing, right? Yes, when we're talking about displays, it's unbelievable the numbers. When we're looking at 2009, for example, there were 700 million units sold of smartphones, tablets, monitors, notebooks, and televisions. So you really track uh, all kinds of displays, yes, from any smartphones to TVs. And, yeah. Any display, any technical good. Mm -hmm. And when we're looking at 2014, we're talking about 2.1 billion units, wow. and for next year, 2.4 billion units, meaning every third person in the whole on the planet will buy such a device next year. That's amazing. When, when, when you talk about it as every third person on the planet will yes. be buying a new display device of some sort, that's truly cool. Now, is no matter whether it's a granny or a baby. Right, no that's what. true. <laughs> At all age groups. And so exactly, forth. yeah. Now, uh, the, the strongest growth in display, yeah. can I assume, might be smartphones and tablets? Or is it from one end to the other? There's constant growth. Um, it's actually, yeah, smartphones is definitely the most growing um, category, mm -hmm. for sure. We expect for next year around 1.5 billion smartphones to be sold worldwide. Oh. But also tablets, of course, grow. We see televisions grow. And what we really see in the industry is that um, in the last five years, every inch gap along the scale has been closed by the industry. So five years ago, you could have a smartphone with four inch and then you had a notebook or a portable TV with or a monitor with maybe 10, 12, 20 inch. Yeah. But there was nothing in between. And now you have tablets, phablets, whatever. And the same applies to all the other inch sizes. So we are seeing TVs moving into the really large classes, 65 inch, 84 inch, etc. The 110 inch ones we're seeing here at EFA, exactly, for example. Exactly, exactly. And then they're also moving to the small sizes. When I look at your watch, smart watches, yep. 2.5 inch or smaller. Yeah. So the industry is really looking, where can I put a display? And they're really closing every single gap along the scale. So while there used to be maybe some niches or particular yes. opportunities in, in all kinds of displays, that's kind of been blown away. They're, they're going, size does matter, but it might be big or small. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter because the industry sees, okay, there is a huge potential for every single inch size there is. And also, right after the consumer, of course, we go towards business. We have signage, etc. So mm -hmm. displays really take over the world. Yeah. And they're getting more and more smart. Yeah, that's, that's true. The thing. Been, to, been to an airport lately or any, a yes. number of places yeah. where there is opportunity for signage that has to stay up with things and make changes rapidly. Exactly. And the technologies can be truly amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And with all those technologies you have, with the connectivity of devices, etc., it's unbelievable the opportunities for the consumer. Yeah. The big task for the industry and for the retail, of course, is to explain all the technologies to the consumer correctly, that they understand it, that they can use it easily, one, two taps, and then they're connected. Yeah. And wow. that's the big challenge, because we're talking about so many different things, different technology, different protocols, Miracast, AllShare, All AirPlay, uh, NFC, um, SAT over IP, Wi-Fi Direct, Wireless Display, all those words. They need to be understood by the consumer, yeah. and that takes a while. That's Bluetooth, true. of course. Bluetooth is a huge yeah. growth driver. Wow. And all of that affects things like displays as well, because yeah. it all ends up being something that's got to then be seen and controlled by the consumer. Exactly. And, of course, now we're talking about ultra-high-def TV, yes. uh, the, the popularity of the last year or so mm. of that growing. And do you see that uh, as a pretty steep growth? Or is very the public steep. accepting yes. it? Yes, very, very steep growth. 
we're expecting for this year around nine and a half million units worldwide to be sold on TV sets with Ultra HD. Mm. For 2015, we're already talking about a number of 25 million. Wow. So really quickly, quickly moving up. Um, I know that some TV manufacturers in recent years have been concerned about larger tablets, for example, saying, yeah. well, they're not going to buy our TV. They can watch everything on a tablet. Yeah. But they're still selling TVs. Of course, yeah, yeah because TVs, you know what, there, there are studies that show the TV usage per day still goes up every year. For example, let me just put the example for Germany, but you could put that for every European nation probably. In 2000, we had an average 192 minutes of TV watching per day per person. So just a little bit more than three hours. Yeah. Now we have 225 minutes a day. So half an hour more. Hmm. So people are nearly watching four hours TV per day. And it's probably not because there's so much more interesting things on TV. It's just mm -hmm. that, they're, that they're watching more things, wh whether they're interesting or not. <laughs> yeah, but also I think one big thing is that's coming up is video on demand, like uh, time shift TV, etc. And in terms of display usage, you just talked about tablets. Tablets are used while you're watching TV. You choose your content on your tablet, you look up for social media things, and at the same time you watch TV. Yeah. So both is actually growing, and therefore there's a huge market and a lot of opportunities mm. for the industry, but then also for the consumer, of course. Well, Alex, you, you paint a very interesting picture, a very good picture for the industry, because the constant growth is not a bad thing at all. No. And certainly for our audience of consumers, that people know that there's a vast uh, a range uh, of, of things to look at, especially whether it be from displays and all the different mm. connectivity that we've talked about and so forth. You want to learn more, visit gfk.com. Of course, we'll link you there, too, when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com. Alexander, thanks for spending a few minutes with us here at IFA in Berlin. You're welcome. My pleasure. We're back with more from Berlin, Germany. I'm Dave Graveline on the Advanced Media Network. <laughs>